need luck clearing out those slits. People are starting to beg me for water. I don't know how many more times I can say it'll melt your guts before they just rush me and take it. Well done. Once I pump out the remaining poison water, the spring should be clean enough for drinking. I'll make sure to let people here know how much help you've been. They'll be grateful that they can get a drink without dissolving their intestines. <laughs> One more thing. Take my rucksack. Useful for hauling back scrap or whatever else you come across. I'm too old for that stuff now. Welcome to my workshop. I saw you fighting the dead out in Lower Crossing, and I dare say you were absolutely brilliant. Evidently, cutting you off that noose was the best decision the captain made that day. Ah, where are my manners? I'm Kasparov, scientist and inventor. What brings you to my humble shop? Rift gates, yes. The ethereals use them to get around. I was working on a way to close them, but then you stumbled through ours. We have never seen a human, possessed or otherwise, pass through one before. Not a living one, anyway. It was then that I realized that we could put these portals to use. There is something about you that is attuned to the Rift Gates, and I intend to replicate it. You don't remember anything, do you? I may have taken some liberties while you were out cold. It was just a few tests, a blood sample or two, nothing major. The results were... curious. It appears that your body is still teeming with residual aether energies. Don't worry, you won't be growing any new limbs. Probably. But I'm going on tangents here. I believe that, with a correctly tuned pulse of aether energy, we can replicate this phenomenon in a controlled manner. As in, without the need for pesky possession. I've been working on just the device to do it, but it needs power. For that, I require Aether Crystal Fragments. Excellent! These will do perfectly! I'll just place them into my device here, and... Oh my, that's not right. Not at all! That pulse! It wasn't supposed to go off! Oh dear. One, two, three... Yes, my fingers are still intact. Did it reach you too? How do you feel? Ah, very good. I'm sure a little more aether in your system won't do you the slightest harm. Okay, maybe it was a lot more. But you look fine. Fitter than ever. A real shame about the prototype, though. Showed such promise. Perhaps if I had more fragments. Ah, we've been so preoccupied with this Riftgate business that I completely forgot about my apprentice, Starlet. I sent her out to the Burwich Estates to fetch parts for our research, and she's been gone entirely too long. Seems her ineptitude carries beyond just the workstation. I have to say, I do feel a little responsible for her now that she's my... Good, you're back. I've heard good things from both Kasparov and Barnabas. You're a real asset to this community. One of my scouts came back with news making our next move clear. The dead are heavily concentrated in Burwich Village to the north, past the swamps of Whitemire. There must be a reason why. Perhaps the ethereal behind these attacks is there. We can't know for sure without investigating deeper. You've proven yourself quite resourceful thus far. Your ability to secure rift gates for human use could be a turning point in our situation. With all the activity around Burwich, there's bound to be a rift gate. If you can capture it, that will give us a solid foothold in the area. Follow the road north through Whitemire. Though in the current state of things, you will likely have to leave the road behind well before you reach the village. Keep pressing north and you will eventually reach the outskirts of Burwich. It's surrounded by a palisade wall, so you will have to find a way inside. Once you've secured the rift gate, return to Devil's Crossing. <laughs> 